So I watched Jay Way's video, and a lot like him, I hadn't really planned on talking about college football until August, until the season was getting started. But he made a video about the BCS and his thoughts on it and the playoff system and whatnot, and I know I've made a video about it uh, earlier on, But I like, and this may be a lot of repeat stuff, but also this video kind of cleared up some of my opinions from the last one and just really kind of maybe reiterate what I'm trying to say here about the BCS. You guys know that I don't like the BCS at all. I think it's a joke. I think that you bring a great sport like football, college football none, nonetheless, and you equate it to almost figure skating, where you can't just go out and beat a team, but you have to do it in such a way that impresses the judges or the analysts or whatever. And it takes away from the sport a little bit. And I'll even say this in defense of Cal in 2004. Now that year, the Horns got an at-large bid to the Rose Bowl. The reason Texas and Cal that year were uh, neck and neck. We had the same record. Same quality wins. It was really close. And you know what it came down to? The reason Texas got the Rose Bowl bid instead of Cal is Cal's last game, they beat Southern Miss. And they beat them handily, but they did not pound them into the ground. So Texas got the edge. Now, hey, I'm happy. I'm a Horns fan. But I'm also a realist, and I understand why things go down. Now, you look at 2005, and I go back to this a lot. That year was validated, but the, the season that year validated uh, the BCS because you had USC and Texas. The two teams, it was USC, Texas, and Ohio State were the three teams that were in contention for the title that year. Texas defeated Ohio State, which put them ahead of them. And from then on out, it was pretty much scripted. Those the, the two juggernauts to head-to-head, and we ended up getting one of the greatest, not just football championships of all time, but sports championships of all time. And so I think that that season right there really, I think, prolonged it a little bit and said, hey, this thing can work. But ever since that season, we've got junk bowl games compared to that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, Miami and Ohio State a couple years ago, that was a good title game. I still say the Texas-USC game is the best. Uh, Of course, I'm a Texas fan, but you'll find a lot of people who agree with me on that. But this past season was atrocious. And a lot of people enjoyed this season. And there's two kind of people who look at who, who look at this season. There's the kind of people who are unlike me, really enjoyed it because of all the upsets. I mean, every week there was an upset. Now, I love my share of upsets, but it seemed like it lost the flair of it. Because every single week, like, oh, okay, yeah, they just got upset. They got upset again. And it was interesting to watch. But I told people before the bowl season started, I said, this bowl season is going to suck. These games are not going to be fun to watch. They're going to be blowouts and ugly games to watch. And so we get the exciting matchups in the bowl games of USC and Illinois, Georgia and Hawaii, and other trash matchups. This, and I was exactly right. This bowl season was terrible because of all the upsets and messed it up. And here's the two kind of people. People who like that are the first people. It's like, and I, I can't take it credit for uh, this, uh, this comparison here because I listened to Mike and Mike a while back. You either, people either go into a movie, and this past season was like a movie, where throughout the whole movie, it's just, it's action-packed. You never know what's going to happen. It's just back where it's awesome. But the ending of the movie kills it. It's, it's a terrible ending. So you're left with mixed feelings, almost like, oh, was it worth it? Or you can have like 2005 season, where pretty much the whole season you could tell it was going to happen. It was predictable, you know, right through the season. But the ending was amazing, and it just left you satisfied. I'm the kind of person I like to be satisfied at the end, and a playoff system will give you that. Now I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't have any system. I don't have any opinions on how we need to do things, but there needs to be something like this. Now I'm not saying scrap the bowl games. Because I love bowl season just like everybody else. But I think that those final bowl games, those BCS games, which are really just glorified exhibition games, need to be the playoff system. That's what I would put. And, you know, leave the other games. You know, I don't think Texas should have been. And, you know, just just say up front as me not being biased, if there was a playoff system, UT should not be in it this past year because we didn't earn it. We had a 
we did not, we had a very subpar season last year. Okay, and I totally agree with Jay White when he says that every single conference should have a championship game because that screwed a lot of teams up this year. Now, first off, I'm going to talk to the Kansas fans. Kansas fans didn't like what I said about you know before the bowl game started, and they're saying, "Look!" And when Kansas beat Virginia Tech, they said, "Look, look, man, you were wrong. See, we we did deserve it." The outcome of the game did not. It wasn't about does Kansas deserve it. It was does Kansas deserve it over Missouri. I had no. I think I picked Votek to win, but it wasn't about who won the game. It was about who deserved to play there. Did you see what Missouri did to Arkansas in the Cotton Bowl? They plowed over them. And that whole thing was messed up because of a championship game. And I love championship games. We should all, every single conference should have it because it screws up the big-time conferences like the Big 12 uh, and like SEC. Because this is what happened. Missouri defeats Kansas head-to-head handily. They go in competing for a national title against Oklahoma. They have to play an extra game. They lose to Oklahoma. Now, because of that extra game, not only are they eliminated from national title consideration, they are eliminated from BCS consideration. And a team which they defeated on a championship-like turf gets ahead of them. That's where my problem is. Now, I have no problem against Kansas per se, but the system that puts a team like Kansas above Missouri. If there's a playoff system... Yeah, Kansas should have probably been it. Okay? So that's my take on it. I think, I just, I think, does it ruin college football? No. You guys know me. I love college football. But I think it takes away just a little bit. <clears throat> and I think if you implement a playoff system, you're going to get better matchups during the year. And yes, it may take a little bit away from the regular season. But how many of us love the NFL? I will, I will concede a few regular season games for a few more playoff games that you'll get even more intensity than you would get during the regular season. Um, and also, with the playoff system, because then you're not forced to win every single game to get to that title game, you will get to see more regular season matchups of Texas and Ohio State or this coming year, Ohio State, USC. Because teams like that, those big-time schools like UT, like USC – and OU and other teams like that, there's no need to schedule those big-time opponents because in the long run, it can only hurt you and really can't help you that much, but it can hurt you. It, it, it can destroy your season. Look at Ohio State when Texas won. It didn't destroy their season, but it knocked them out of contention for the national title. Okay, And also back to the smaller schools like Hawaii, like Boise State. I do think those schools need to get a chance. But I said before the bowl season that Hawaii did not belong in the national title, and I don't care that they won all their games. Because in the NFL, it doesn't matter who you play. They're all professionals, and you, the schedule is like it is because it all goes into a playoff system, and then you see who the best teams are. With Hawaii, when you get taken to the wire with teams like Idaho, Nevada, I couldn't even tell you the other teams. You don't belong in a championship atmosphere for the national title. And what they got, I mean, and all they had to do to validate their season against Georgia was to play well. They could have lost by 14, and they would have validated that decision to put them in. But they got rolled by Georgia. So, if there was a playoff system last year, should Hawaii have been in it? Yes. And they would have gotten rolled, and then there would have been an advancement. So, that's my opinion on the BCS. Um... I think they need to find a new way to do it. We're not going to because there's too much money in it. And guys like me who rant and rave against it are still going to watch it. So it's an endless cycle. It's a war that we probably won't win. But at least I've got the Internet to give my opinion on it. So I'll see you guys later.